Hello, I'm Lucinda Green and with Pet Plan Equine, Jack Stankham and this gorgeous person and I are going to do a little bit of the elementaries of cross country. Bearing in mind that engine line balance, spelling the word elbow, engine line balance and OW at the end of elbow, ow if you forget one of them. It'll be interesting to see whether we have to concentrate a little bit on contact because Jack's told me this is a very careful horse. When they are careful, they very often use their head and neck a lot. So it might be interesting to see how we develop that um, teaching, if you like, on the, on the contact side. So Jack's coming into a tiny little combination. You see his horse put his head up, look, and then spook. And Jack's right there behind him saying, come on, you can do that, it's tiny. Now he's got a little roll top. When does he see that? Yeah, he's got it about four, five, six strides out. Spooks a little bit, but Jack just sits behind him and lets him pace himself. And quite a spook there. And Jack's really got his work cut out of the minute. So engine line and balance. The engine is the thing that's it's just not completely consistent, is it, at the moment? Because the horse is looking and you can't stop a horse looking. But when they do look, they Ugh! and then they throw us, if we're not ready, forward. And Jack was very, very good. If you watch that back again, you'll see that every time the horse spooks, he sits behind it and says, you can do it, come on. He never lets himself get thrown up the neck. So that was really good. Right, so Jack's coming round now to a little bank up and down. Watch that horse's eye, so sorting it out. And beautiful, not spooky at all, but Jack gave him lots of time, trotted him on the turn, popped him back into canter. And now he's going to come lengthways. And watch when the horse first sees it. He's travelling on the bit, but he's already looking. Now he's seen it. As soon as the head goes up, they've seen it. He finds that much less spooky than a straight up fence. Now what will he do over this? This is the third time he's jumped this. <laughs> certainly needing a little bit of encouragement. But nothing in any way that I wouldn't call a genuine young horse looking what he's doing. We're going the other way. Watch him looking. Jack in a super balance again. When the steps are really small, they very often just stumble up or down them, but it's all good practice for their footwork. They don't really like stumbling up or down, so they'll look a little bit more carefully next time. Jack will start to put his backside down in the saddle. Lovely soft fingers. You see the fingers on his reins are just open that little bit, letting the horse look where he's going, stretch his head down. This horse, I feel, will become more and more confident the more he um, practices and the more he feels that he's not upsetting the apple cart, i.e. The, the balance of his rider by going, oh, just let me look at that. And very often when a horse takes a, another look, the rider's not always expecting it and it throws that rider out of balance and then the horse goes, ah, now I can't jump because I'm out of balance. And if you watch that again, you'll see that whatever the, I was going to say the little horse, the big horse does in front of a fence, Jack is absolutely ready for it. And he several times arrives at a perfect takeoff spot and Jack could have been forgiven, but not really, if he'd said, oh, this is going to be lovely and started his jump himself, but he never did. And quite often the horse just went, it might be the perfect takeoff spot, but I need another look. And in went another stride. And because Jack had not trusted him to take off there, he was just there waiting for him. He was in the perfect balance to enable the horse to take off even from so far away, which is what you have to be able to do. Well done, that was super.